Hey guys, I'm Tree and I make streamer support videos. Today we're going to take a look at the walk-on extension. We will start with a review and after that we will go into how you can set this extension up. If you want to skip through the review, I left a timestamp put underneath in the description. In this extension, your subscribers can pick a sound and the sound will go off every time they enter your stream. The extension can be used as a component or as a panel. A component is an interactable overlay over your stream and a panel will display on your profile underneath your stream. We're gonna take a look at some pros and cons. Let's jump into the pros first. This extension will allow you to have an extra reward for your subscribers, so they get more bang for their buck. It will allow you to set an audience rating. So if you have a family friendly stream, you can block all mature sounds. If for any reason you want to lower the amount of people using this extension, you can set a price in bits. But a major con of this extension is that it might not be lurker friendly. Some people prefer entering the stream unannounced. And the second con is that it might not be clear where the sound is coming from and it might bring some confusion into your stream. This extension might not be for everyone, but I think it would be a cool addition to your stream if you tweak the settings a bit to fit it to your stream. Overall, this can be very cool in the right hands and you can have many funny moments with it. Let's jump behind the PC and I will show you how to set it up. First of all, go to twitch.tv. Click on the top right on your avatar and go to create a dashboard. On the top left you will see extensions, click on that. Then search walk on. You will see it here in the top left. Hover over it and click on install. Mine is already installed so I can't click on it anymore. Go back by clicking on this arrow and then click on my extensions. You can either activate it as panel or as component. I'm going to show you how to activate it as a component first. Click on this activate button and click on component 1 or 2. You can drag it wherever you want. I already have the blurb extension here, so that's why you see two things here right now. But you can just drag it and drop it and save. To go into further settings, click on this cockwheel. First thing you need to do is click on this blurb setup tab and copy the URL. Now we're going to go to OBS, go to the sources side and click on the little plus and then add the browser source. Paste the URL here. You can set the width and height to whatever you like the alert to be. I like them small, so I'm gonna set them on 400, 200. Sorry for this little inception here, but that's just because I'm recording with OBS and that's why you see it 20,000 times, but you would actually see it once. Go back to Twitch and click on this test audio button. So just do it! Like you see, the alert works. If you want them bigger or smaller, you can adjust the sizes. Right click on the source, go to properties and you can set the width and height here again. If you go back to Twitch and click on test audio, it will be bigger. What we need to do now is go to general settings. Set the volume. If the volume was too loud, drag it down. And set an audience rating. If you are a family friendly stream, pick at least PG-13 or lower. This means that there will not be mature sounds played on your stream. And it says post in chat. If this is on, it will automatically post a message in your chat telling that the alert went off. Then you can set up specific boards. Click on the select boards button. These are basically collections of sounds. So if you recommend like certain collections, you can set them here. And then we have the walk on subscriber settings. Here you can set the tier. So if you want only tier two subscribers and tier three subscribers, you set this on tier two and your tier one subscribers will not be able to um, use this extension. You can also ask for some more bits to use it. You can set a maximum of users and a cooldown. Little side note, if you set the cooldown on let's say 20 minutes and somebody watches your stream for 40 minutes, the alert will go off even though they did not left your stream. Now I will show you how to set it up as a panel. Go to your profile. Scroll down until you see the edit panels button. Click on that. Scroll all the way down until you see this plus icon. Click on that and an extension panel. It will say extension panel 1, 2 or 3. Remember this number. Go back to your extension page by clicking on create a dashboard, extensions and my extension. And then at the walk on extension you click on the activate button and then panel 2 for me because it was panel 2. But it may be 1 or 3 for you. Just the number you saw. And then it's activated. To check this go to your profile. Well there it is. This is how you set up the walk on extension. If you have any questions leave them down in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, click the little bell icon and I will see you in the next video.